it is Tuesday and I am going to be heading somewhere today for a change. I went to do a vlog this week and I thought I need to do something different. I need to take you guys with me, show you something new. I haven't been doing much, I've just been here at home and it is the summer after all. So we're gonna go to Torquay, which is somewhere where I haven't been for years. I used to go all the time. So I thought it'd be nice to have a little look around, um, show you the sights and just have a, have a day out basically. So we're gonna go and do that. I'm gonna get a train. Um, just because I don't know like, what parking is like or anything like that so it's just easier to jump on a train. I just need to make the bed, I've got myself ready and then I'll be heading off. Kate's going to drop me off at the train station. So yeah it'd be really nice just to do something different and have a day away from being at home. I don't know if you guys get like that but if you've had several days where you've just been doing the same thing especially if you work from home um, you just need to yeah go and do something. So let's sort this bed out and then I'm gonna go. realized when I was talking this morning I totally forgot to mention my hair um, I talked about it on Instagram and so many of you commented and said you love it I have chopped most of my hair off um, I've not had short hair for years and years and years and I just realized I didn't address it at all and a lot of you are not on Instagram and are probably thinking how did you not mention it I wasn't sure whether to do it but I do love it so yeah I'm really happy with it but here we are in Torquay and it's just been the longest time since I've been here. The hotel you can see just there, the Grand Hotel, and we'll go and look at it from the front. I actually went to an event there many, many years ago. I used to work for a cosmetics company, Virgin Cosmetics or Virgin V, so some of you may have known that. I think I've mentioned it before. And we had a big function here and it was lovely. But it looks like that back entrance there is all shut off and it kind of looks a bit closed but I'm pretty sure this hotel is not closed unless I've totally got that wrong let's go and investigate yeah the hotel is definitely still open and look at this how nice is this I bought an umbrella with me which was a total waste of time by the look of it it was quite cloudy when I left but this is really really nice it's quite windy obviously because we are by the sea but I actually love it when it's like this really nice but not too hot it is still reasonably early though so it may get a little bit warmer I would imagine but I think I'm gonna go and find some coffee somewhere you know me got to start the day that way and it looks like the fair is in town I'm assuming this isn't always here some of those rides look terrifying. I'm a little bit funny about um, fairground rides. Obviously theme park rides, I'm fine, as you know. But with this type of thing, because they get packed down and then put back up again so often, I always feel like there's gonna be one tiny little bolt that has not been tightened. <laughs> um, which is really paranoid on my part. Obviously health and safety, I'm sure, is very important. But, you know, I tend to just avoid it anyway, just in case. Now we can see a cruise ship off in the distance. Imagine if it was the Disney magic. Pretty sure it's not. But it looks kind of similar from here. Okay, I just started walking. I didn't really know where I was gonna be able to get coffee, but I've spotted a Costa in the distance. So let's get in there. Okay, so I have my coffee. They didn't actually have any seating inside um, and all the tables were taken outside. So I found myself a lovely bench here, which is actually nicer. And I did get myself a little lemon muffin as well. They didn't have like any breakfast stuff or pastries or anything. So that was still really nice. And I'm just gonna sit here and relax for a little bit and then we're gonna go and do some more exploring so we had a really long sit down with my coffee and i'm now having another one this time a frostino which i waited 30 minutes in line for <laughs> clearly it was a slow day in that costa i've never waited 30 minutes for a costa ever mm. and now i've moved to a different location so i can see the whole of the kind of seafront so let me just show you that so i'm now here sat in the sun and there are so many people on the beach 
it's actually turned out to be a really really nice day i decided to go for a little stroll and we're here by the princess theater which i don't know maybe this is just completely closed at the moment with covid and everything if you go anywhere in the uk during the school summer holidays you'll be in for lines as you can see there's like lines for everything and it's really quite busy but it's to be expected it's a nice day but since i'm just wandering and not doing anything in particular it's fine except for the half hour wait in Costa, of course. <laughs> I think we're just gonna walk down here and there are a lot of very, very fancy looking boats here as well. Some slightly less fancy looking ones too. And this is looking back where we first arrived. So over there is the Grand Hotel. So that's just where the train station is. So we've come all the way around here. There's the theatre we were just talking about, and around to here. I always forget how much I love Torquay. I haven't been here for such a long time, but I used to come here a lot, and I really, really do love it. So I've just walked further around, and look how nice these gardens are, and this fountain. That's one thing I love about Torquay. It really is so beautiful. They've got loads of sort of areas like this, and little parks, and palm trees, and yeah, I love it. I think I might have a little sit down by this tree in the shade. Okay, I've just spotted in the distance a little train thing, and I think we need to do it. We'll see it go past now. There it is. Yeah, we need to do that. <laughs> so this building is the pavilion, and I think it's all closed up. It says something here about the Torquay Museum, but I don't think that's inside this building. I think that's somewhere else. And um, we're just kind of up by this pavilion building, and I think this is more kind of the town, so if you want to actually find the shops and stuff like that, which we're not going to do today, so we're just having a quick visit. It's always such a shame when you see buildings like this that are kind of all boarded up and not used. I really don't know. Like, if anyone knows what the plan is for this building or what they use it for, if anything, let me know in the comments. Okay, so it looks like this is the train stop, so I'm going to hang around here and see if we can do this. I think it's about 45 minutes the whole route that it does.
I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour around on the train. I got off early. I should have stayed on for a couple more stops to do the full circuit, but they were taking a really long time to like get people on here. So I thought I would just get out and walk the rest of the way back towards the train station. So this is the marina where you can come and book like jet skiing and boat trips and stuff. I don't think there's any going today. I saw a sign up earlier saying something about the tide or so, I don't know, something, but I don't think there's any um, kind of ferries or boat trips or anything happening today. And these are all the palm trees I was talking about earlier. <laughs> if you haven't really seen them, oh dear. Those dogs aren't happy. Yeah, the palm trees here always give it a kind of tropical vibe when you're in Torquay. But then if you look this way, you're like, no, I'm definitely, definitely in the UK. <laughs> okay, back to where we started at the train station. I'm gonna head back now. And I've got some things to do at home. I've got the Patreon live stream tonight and I need to edit the podcast, so lots to do. Hello everyone, it is now a new day. My intention was actually to film the whole day that I went to Torquay and I got back. I think I probably showed me going to the train station. That may have been the last thing you saw. And by the time I got back, I had a live stream that evening for Patreon and all kinds of other stuff and the day was just gone. So I thought I would film a little bit of today as well. And I'm somewhere different at the moment. I am house sitting and dog sitting for my friends this week. Um, looking after the lovely Ruby. She's out in the garden at the moment. I'll show you her in a minute. She is just the most beautiful dog. I love her. Um, we're having an amazing time together. So yeah, I'm gonna be here this week, just looking after things while they're gone. And I've just got so much work to do. I really, really do. And the last few weeks have been crazy with the cruise and various different things. So I feel like this week I can just really, really knuckle down. It's actually a Sunday today and I'm still just gonna be editing all day and really get some work done. And one of the reasons that I need to get ahead of myself is because my laptop is really on its last legs. Those of you who've been watching for a long time will know it's been on its last legs probably for about two years. No, I'm joking. It's not been that bad, but there has been a problem with it and I just need it all the time. So I've never got around to getting it fixed. It is under like breakdown cover and stuff, so I can get it sorted out. Um, but I know they'll probably want to take it away or something and I need to have obviously got all my videos done ahead of time to be able to be without it. So I'm just trying to get a little bit ahead of myself so that if they do need to take it away, they can. And yeah, other than that, it's just a nice relaxing day. It's beautiful outside today. It's not too hot, not too cold. Oh, and I can see someone coming. There she is. Hello, Ruby. She is just so beautiful and the loveliest dog. Aren't you? Are you the most beautiful girl? Yes, you are. I love her. <laughs> so we're just having a bit of outside time, aren't we, Ruby? The weather's kind of gone a bit downhill. It's a bit grey and miserable, but Ruby doesn't seem to mind it. <laughs> it's not raining, which is the main thing. And someone came to take her for a long walk earlier. I actually can't walk her. She's too big of a dog for me to walk because of my balance. And I would just be worried that, you know, if she caught scent of something and tried to run, my balance is just really not good. So dogs that are bigger, um, it's just a bit dodgy for me. So yes, someone else has been coming to walk her. Normally she runs around quite a bit, but I think because she had her walk earlier, she's not kind of too into it. Just a little stretch. So I'm just heading out to meet Lisa for dinner. So I've got changed. Um, I've shown you this dress definitely in the blue. I wore it on the Disney cruise. I also have it in pink, um, which you will have seen on Instagram. And I have it in black as well. This is from Poor Moi. And I just love this dress. It is like the best summer dress ever. It's a wraparound one. And it's just a really, really nice fit. I really, really just honestly can't recommend it enough. So I'll link it below if it's still available. You can get it through Next and you can also get it directly from their website. But yeah, it's really just the best summer dress ever. I think I'd have it in even more colors if I possibly could. Um, but yeah, I do love this black and white polka dot version as well. So I am now going to head out and see Lisa. So hopefully you can say hi to her in the vlog because I don't think you've seen her for a really long time. So we are here at Ask Italian and um, I've managed to not vlog anything. I got here, we just started chat, 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 chatting and now we're finished and we're leaving and this is the first time I'm vlogging. But I thought you might want to say hi to Lisa. Hi, here she is. So you probably haven't seen Lisa for ages in the vlog. So yes. Obviously. Yes. 
It was good though, it was very nice. Yeah. We love it. We are, we're, we're just loving going out again. Just this time last year, going out would have seemed like, well I suppose, no we were just coming into going out again, weren't we, in September. We were allowed to do the odd thing outside, but this is, yeah, much better. We are. It's our big night out. Yes, this is, this is as exciting as it gets. <laughs> Someone's very excited that I've come home. Aren't you, Ruby? You're a good girl, aren't you? She's just eaten an apple in the garden. They've got an apple tree. <laughs> I went out there and she was eating one. She is so lovely. Hello, it is another new day. I definitely did not expect this vlog to be spread over several days, but there we go, here we are. That's just what's happening. And um, it's actually the afternoon and Ian is gonna be coming round to walk Ruby later. I'll obviously go as well. Um, like I mentioned, I can't do it myself and he loves dogs. So he's super keen to come over and take her out for a walk. So um, we're gonna do that. I need to nip back to Kate's to pick some things up as well. And Kate actually lives really close. So we can probably do that when we head out for the walk. I hope it's not gonna rain because it is not looking too great, but fingers crossed, it's not gonna rain. And um, I've just been editing this vlog. And when I was editing the first part of this vlog, when I was in Torquay, there were a couple of things that I didn't explain. So one of them, when I did the little road train thing that goes around, it does have like a recorded, um, I don't know, what's it even called? Like a tour type thing. Like as you're going around, it's explaining what you're looking at and all that type of thing. And I was going to leave that in so you guys could hear like what was happening and stuff. But two things, one, you could barely hear what the guy was saying or what the recording was saying because of the noise. And there was a woman behind me who was like swearing at her kids the entire way around, which was like massively inappropriate for the vlog. So I couldn't leave that in. So if anyone was wondering why the whole of the tour, I just had like music over the top, that is why. And also at one point I zoomed in on a hotel called the Abbey Sands. And I was gonna tell you about that as we were going around, but again, you know, this person was being really noisy behind me, so I forgot. Um, that hotel actually used to be called the Grosvenor Hotel. And there's a series on YouTube, it actually aired on television, I think it was quite a few years ago now, I wanna say like 2013 or something, maybe even before then. I think it was on, I don't know whether it was BBC or ITV or something, but anyway, there was this documentary about this hotel, the Grosvenor, and the guy who runs it, who is called Mark, and they, it was so funny, like I absolutely loved watching it, and you can still watch it on YouTube, I'll link it below. And uh, towards the end of the series, he obviously sold on the hotel. So it's in different ownership now and it's got a different name. But that was the reason I was zooming in because I was gonna tell you guys about it and you can go and watch that on YouTube if you want. It's just so funny. They were always having like all kinds of shenanigans going on when I'm running this hotel and it's just a really funny thing to watch. So that's why I zoomed in on that hotel and I didn't get a chance to tell you that. So it, just in case you were wondering about that as well. That's what was going on there. So there's a new makeup item I've been using that I just had to mention to you guys. It's the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Foundation. And before I had the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion, uh, which is the matte version of this foundation. And it was really good, but matte foundations do always give like a very full finish and they can look a little bit kind of over cakey or just like you've got a lot of makeup on and I don't normally use anything like this that's more dewy because I do have an oily t-zone and dewy foundations can tend to make that worse but this one I don't know what it is it is just so amazing it doesn't seem to do that I do get a bit of shininess in my t-zone which I always do and I have a powder actually I've got it right here which is the Beauty Pie One Powder Wonder. Um, and I just put some of this over the top of the foundation, just in my T-zone, and it really stops it looking too shiny, but it doesn't get rid of that sort of dewy finish. And I just absolutely love this. It's not cheap, um, it is a high-end foundation. I do get it normally from ASOS, and you can sometimes get a good deal. Um, they often have like 20% off their makeup and stuff, so just keep an eye out for it. And this one that I have is in the shade Cashew, but it's absolutely amazing so if anyone else is like that where you normally get matte foundations because of an oily t-zone um, I am finding that this one is actually okay providing I use the the beauty pie powder with it but it just looks a lot more natural and a few of you have commented on my cruise vlogs that you really liked how my foundation looked and this is what I was wearing so I thought I would just let you guys know
Hello, I was just finishing up editing this vlog and I realised that I didn't finish it at all yesterday. Sorry, that was really shaky over there. And um, I'm not looking my best today. I need to wash my hair in a second. This is what the new hair looks like when I haven't done anything. I've run a brush through it, that was about it. Um, so I'm not really looking my best here, but I thought I would just quickly come on to end this vlog. It was probably quite a short one. I know there hasn't been a vlog for a while. It's actually been longer than I thought. I thought it had been a couple of weeks and it's been more than that so content will be returning on a more regular basis and um, like I said it's just been crazy with like the cruise and all of the other stuff that's been going on in my life recently it's just been a bit mad and time is going so quickly um, but there will be more vlogs more consistently coming up from now on so I just wanted to say a huge thank you for always sticking with me sticking with my videos both here and over on Disney in detail and for all the love on the cruise vlogs you guys have been absolutely loving them and it's been amazing hearing all your comments I've loved doing Disney vlogs again it's just been so great so thank you to all of you for just always being here and always being so amazing and if you enjoyed this one give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on any upcoming vlogs I hope you guys are all doing okay and navigating the craziness that is 2021 um, we all thought 2020 was weird and 2021 is kind of being also pretty strange so I hope everyone is navigating that wherever you are in the world I know you guys watch from all over the world and everywhere is different at the moment so I hope you're all doing good and staying safe I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next one bye and also goodbye from this one she is wagging her tail she is happy <laughs>